Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank. Today I'm going to play some more Inscription Casey's mod. Let's go ahead and hop in with the new run. Okay, I think that I'll do another... Hmm... Maybe no, clo no clover. I don't really use that too much anyways. Still haven't beat this. I'm thinking about just trying it maybe once or twice more. And um, maybe it for my Inscription streams. Um, as much as I like it, it is brutally difficult, and I uh, looked up a few tips for this and felt that some of them were somewhat cheating. Um, I was hoping to not have to take like a way that felt like a cheap way out, so we'll just uh, give it another shot and see how it goes. Okay, so I could get... I'm going to go with an Elk Fawn and I think corpse maggots because those are just pretty handy and now we're on to the wood carver okay what do they have for us now um I could get a wolf tribe thing or a bird and I don't care about the arrow so I think I want to go with wolf to start Okay, and taking a look at what we have here, we have a sacrifice, and I can't quite see that emblem, I think it's just a fight. Another wood carver, a sigil fight that way, a beast pick. Um, I think we'll go this way and we'll aim for the wood carver. Okay, wolf cub, and we could get an elk fawn going and have that take on the wolf cub in the next attack so i think that we will do i think we'll do just that there we go oh that was a misplay i should have put the stoat down i don't know what i was thinking there we go I think that I just had the timing different in my head and that's what threw me off. Okay, no harm, no foul. I think it we're still wanting to do okay. Okay, wow, we gave up with just me drawing a squirrel. <laughs> Fear the squirrel. Okay, so cockroach, kingfisher, and then rabbit warren. Zero power and one health. Now if I could upgrade that with some attack, that might be useful, so we'll go that route. Alright, Woodcarver, what do you have for us? Bone generation and stinky. We'll take stinky. We can have some stinky wolves. Now we just need to get some wolves in our hand. I don't think we have... we have the one. I think dogs are also in that canine family. Oh, they're using a sigil for that as well. Okay, wolf cub incoming. And I guess we would need a bullfrog to answer that. Okay. What's going to come up behind it? An alpha. Okay. We can get the elk fawn started on the far side, and that way it'll be full grown by the time it makes its way over to the alpha. There'll be corpse maggots guarding it anyways. Here we go. And let's uh, go over here, keep going. I think we're gonna get this just about right off the bat. Okay, Stoat can uh, take on our wolf cub. Okay, I think it's all set. There's no way they're going to recover. It's going to be a lot of excess damage, too. I think we got at least two excess. Alright, hopefully we can buy us a pelt. Not enough, and I guess we could... 
maybe we should save up for at least a wolf pelt. Thought I had a little bit more excess damage, but I guess not. Alright. So this one is the um, power, and if we get the warren a little bit of power, that could be ideal. Okay, I think we're gonna back out of that. That gives the warren a little bit of teeth. Okay, a wolf cub incoming. We know what to do with those. We'll send a stoat after it just in case they get something that's airborne. Oh, and a wolf is going to come down the pipeline. Hey, we got a rabbit warren. Good. Okay. So we should probably get rid of the wolf cub and maybe I could put something down against that wolf. Fortunately, it's going to take out whatever I put in front of it. So we could generate a rabbit though. Um, we'll do this and we will put the bullfrog to get a hit in on it and go from there. Not the perfect world, but I don't have to do. Oh, wow, declared victory to me already. All right, so we have a chance at getting something good, or we could go to the fire, or we could go to the wood carver. I think I want to stick with the stinky for now, so let's go this route. And I want to try the right side. Oh, a cockroach. Okay. That'll add, let's see, the second thing that uses bone, so not bad. All right, now we could sacrifice something to give its powers up. Um, maybe having a rab rabbit warren come out would be useful instead of corpse maggots. Um, or taking cockroach's power and putting it on the warren so we could get rabbits over and over but uh, it's still kind of the net you know equal amount of stuff I'm more inclined to say to upgrade the power of something um, perhaps hmm That is a hard pick. Can we do, exploit these any other way? Hmm. Maybe I should do it on a deploy Warren. Okay. We'll do it that way. It could be useful. Alright, little pack rat buddy. Thank you, bud. Alright, prospector first fight. Alright, can we quickly take out the pack mule? Thinking not, but if we put a warren down. We'll at least be able to get two things on the board. Okay. And let's see. The stoat would just instantly die, so maybe we can put the smoke down to get some bones on the board. Um, and we have a rabbit that um, will auto deploy. I did not catch that. Sigil would be passed down. Man, if I had known that about the Warren, then that could have maybe had some good implications elsewise. Maybe I can just keep putting sigils on the Warren and getting 
really powerful rabbits <laughs> since they're free to play um maybe that would be a great idea let's go ahead and play this toad i guess just to have another some attack going on too okay and a mole is coming out all right stinky wolf gonna need some blood for that okay well let's see might start turning the tide on me if I'm not careful so kind of need a I wish I could get rid of that boulder but let's do one more turn hate to lose but I'm not sure what else we can do in this moment. Oh, I shouldn't have drawn a squirrel. Darn it. Um, well, with that in mind, I could put down the wolf anyways, sacrificing one, and take out the coyote, and then hopefully on the next turn get rid of the pack mule. So maybe I should do that. Okay, and that'll be that. Okay, and the cockroach. I think we will hold off until the next phase. Okay. have to put something down the counter that coyote and it could just be a coyote itself because why not stinky coyote good okay golden cards here we go should I do? What should I do? Hmm. Kind of need the Bloodhound to come in and start taking out stuff for me. Um, could play something though. Perhaps an Elk Fawn. Oops. There we go. Okay. Let's do Elk Fawn. Okay. And now we send something out after the Bloodhound. So, could get a bullfrog down just to kind of temper it, but maybe we'll just do a cockroach. I think it, we're going to turn this around anyways. The cockroach is already back in our hand, so let's see. There we go. Good. I feel like that went pretty well. Malgum the Gek and the Mantis God. Um, you know, that would be funny with the Warren to power up with the Omni attack. Um, and the Amalgam. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this just for its sigil because I think I could probably come up with some sort of overpowered play. I'm trying to not go fully exploited, but I will if I have to. <laughs> Alright, so we got 
a cave and a drawing. So let's try to do both of those. Okay. All right, two of kin, um, three sigils, and four attack power. Okay, most of my stuff is like one or two on the attack power. So if I got, I see several ways that I could get three. Um, and this is sigil, so how many do I have with sigils? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six out of one, two, three. Uh, six compared to three, so I think I have a good chance, but I think I'd have to get like, if I got that, that would give me a good chance because anything else could go. Um, and four power. I feel like that's a little high, but two kin. Um, let's see. I don't think that's a good chance at all. So between these two, I think it's a toss up. Four power. One, two. I can get the wolf and basically anything else, I'd be good. But pack rat would require two more. And if I had ones across the board, then that's not good. So maybe I'll do sigils. I'm not sure if I can win any of these. Yep, I lost it. Okay. That was a little bit of a hit to our run, but let's see how it goes. All right. How about a thinking a mantis god so that I can use its sigil in multiple places on sacrifices? Thanks, buddy. This looked like an exact replica. Okay. Let's see, we have an elk fawn that's going to come in, and it's spiky, so we should probably take it out. We have two of them, actually, to worry about. Um, we could put down a mantis god and take out the two of them instantly. However, I think it, it'll get killed due to the spiky, so it won't last long. Um, feel like maybe pulling one of those over might be a good idea, but let's see. Okay, um, need to get rid of one of those elk fawns for sure. So let's do the bullfrog because we don't want to risk losing our elk fawn that would transform. And to be safe, well, Mantis God's going to die on that, so it's going to work out anyways. I think it we're good. Okay. Now we can play our elk fawn. Good. Okay. Stoked. Alright, I think it, we just felt how this one wrapped. Okay. Good. get a ringworm and kill off the fire, but I'm curious if it's worth it. Um, Moosebuck, Grizzly, Pronghorn, and Worker Ant and the Ant Queen. Hmm. I think I'll go with ringworm. I 
think it's for the greater good that I do it this way. All right, ringworm. You know what to do. Oh, uh, did I pull back? I guess I did. I didn't think I did. Darn it. I guess now I have a strong ringworm. <laughs> Maybe it just uh, let me do it since it let me enhance twice. Because I think I read Casey's mod only lets you enhance twice or something. So maybe that's what that was all about. Oh well. Um, the elk fawn is going to be a problem over there. And we do have a cockroach that could be used. Um, Mantis god would die like right away. So we could have it attack one turn across the three of these. Um, and they've got the guardian sigil on this one. So uh, maybe putting the mantis guard down is still the best bet to start. Let's just try. This might be a bit of a misplay. Either way, we'll get rid of one of the elk fawns. And a squirrel. Okay. Alright. We gotta figure out a way out of this one. Um. Don't have enough bones yet for the cockroach. We could play the wolf and that'll buy us a little bit of time. I think that we're down to needing two teeth. So getting rid of the elk fawn would be the order of the day, I think. Um, and I should have enough to play the cockroach after I sacrifice these two squirrels. So we can make this work. Okay. Good. I think it, this will be a win. Okay. And now we need to get rid of the elk. Um, which may require some creative thinking here. Um, might be able to just collect squirrel pelts or squirrel bones here. Um, based off of the elk killing them. So let's just try it out. Okay, and now the elk fawn and porcupine should get killed by the wolf um, attacking them. We'll just keep denying that elk from doing harm. Okay, and I think I have enough to uh, play the cockroach now too. There we go. Okay, and we will, let's see, if the cockroach attacks, it's going to move, and then the elk is going to attack, um, so that may work out okay for now. I'll just go ahead and let it run. Okay, let's get our pack rat down, and we might as well use something. I think a, a squirrel, since we're going to get an item of some sort from pack rat. Sounds like a good idea. And we got another squirrel. Okay. Stoat. We'll make room so that the cockroach can move out of the way and not unfreeze the possum um, too quickly. And an elk fawn. We'll put that down here. Good. All right. Getting a strong elk fawn might be a fun idea. Um, 
if we get to go to the duplicate route. Also a mantis and a wonder. Let's see of these three. If having the elk would be the best idea. Let's do elk pawn. So if I get to the duplicates area, which I see up there, we can maybe combine them to make them more viable. Okay, um, so I could put Mantis God on maybe the Elk Fawn, and that would be really nasty. I like the idea of it a lot, actually, so we're going to do it. Um, we will put it on the Elk Fawn, because I feel that once it's up, it won't be... It'll be more viable than putting it on just the wolf, I think. Because the cost is also lower. Okay. And the wolf is stinky too, so that's a big plus. Alright, we could have this triple attack. Elk fawn, take out all three of them. It will die, but um, that would be really cool. Fortunately, I really don't want that to happen, so um, uh, I think I'm just going to have to use up my squirrel because if I don't, I'm going to have a lot of trouble really quickly. So maybe putting the wolf um, on that middle elk fawn to break things up would be a good way to go. Okay. And that'll be that. Oh, it was a good choice. It's going to take out that raven egg. Okay. And now I can play the elk fawn where it'll be somewhat useful. Now it's nice and powerful. Two and four. Okay, so it'll be able to do six damage if it starts roaming. And we have a, a rabbit warren. So we could. Um, can't play that yet, so we'll just go ahead and keep going. Alright. Oh, we have two duplicate opportunities here. Um, let's see. We already have two elk fawns, unfortunately. Um, we don't have a grizzly yet. It would be kind of a good idea to get something powerful, I think. So, let's uh, go ahead and take it. Alright, I kind of hate that there's two of the duplicate events. Um, because it would have been cool if I would kept my Mantis God or something. Um, however, let's get... Let's see, I think that I have room for one item, so we could get the item and then do the single duplicate event so we don't waste our turns here. Um, being able to upgrade would have been cool too. Let's just check this, this route out. Squirrel or have airborne sigil. We're going to do that. That came in handy um, previous round. I kind of overlooked that fan power um, quite a bit. Like, I think I almost never used it in the uh, previous, like, the main game, so. Hopefully I retain the sigil. I'm not sure if it does. Okay, it did. Thank goodness. I was worried about that. This is going to be a beast, having three attack in three directions. I hope that I'll be able to get it for most fights. Alright, time for the trapper. Okay. So we could send out the elk fawn, but the poor thing is going to die so quickly. Um, if we could get something to take out the trap, it's cheap. That might be one route from this. Um, we could get bones and 
unfortunately, this is such a high cost of things here. Um, but maybe playing the oak pond isn't a bad idea because I could spring at least one trap. We'll just do it for funsies, see what happens here. And that'll be the turn. Okay, Elk will take that out and turn it into a leaping trap and I think it'll die right here. Um, but that'll block that lane and they can't attack. So, um, not bad. I think I can start drawing squirrel cards. Okay. And let's see about um, getting another squirrel down. So, or, yeah, another squirrel. Because if we can activate our grizzly. That would be ideal. Okay. Well, putting in an adder. Can you believe it? Okay. Alright, time for our grizzly. Nope. Oh. Maybe not yet. <laughs> okay. And grizzly time. There we go. Okay, and we will keep it going. Should be in the second phase here in just a moment. I think just one more hit to Grizzly and that'll get us there. Okay. Skinny knife turns. is going to take out that lane like immediately so perhaps taking off some of the more powerful off of these others would be a good idea um stinky stinky guy i'm tempted to say we've got one pelt two pelts so we have two pelts so maybe taking off this guy would be a good idea and taking out the full grown elk okay um, and if we can take out the elk fawn quickly, um, and overpower the river snapper, that would be awesome. The wolf could help quite a bit with that. We have two squirrels that could help us. Um, and we could generate a warren to get quite a bit done in one go. So let's do this. We will do a squirrel down here, and that moved the elk fawn over. Um, and we'll do um, the warren there. And we will put down our wolf next. Actually, we could put the elk down. And that'll kill the river snapper more quickly because it also has a um, touch of death so that'll be perfect um, what else can we do we could block some damage with the smoke get some bones and that'll be our turn oh okay good and do this. I don't know what I was thinking about putting the smoke where I did. I need to uh, get some damage on the board pretty badly now. Um, so Grizzly should take out the bat though. Let's uh, double check our situation here. We may need to... I don't think we can sacrifice out the smoke, can we? Hmm. It's two, three, we got three, so we should come even. Um, or the grizzly should take that out, so we'll come out ahead. Okay, there we go. 
we can handle that little change there. So now we're just going to make pure damage on them. Good. Okay, second boss down. That's going to leave the angler, and we know how much we like that. Alright. Another Mantis God. So we could buff one up with another duplicate. Or we could look into one of these guys for some offense and defense. I think it's so hard to play a four blood, though, that I'm hesitant to take the UA Vuli. Um, it would be pretty awesome, though. Now, the Mantis God, we could sacrifice it again, or we could join it up and... Um, Perhaps have a more viable Mantis God that is doing like six damage. I think I think we'll take it. This feels like a somewhat rare opportunity. Okay. So we have a cave. Whoops. And we have um some other opportunities. Let's check the board back here and see what's on here. An elk and an alpha. Well, we can't do that anytime soon because I don't think we have an alpha or an elk. So, let's see. <laughs> now, we could go to the cave challenge and then a power up. Um, and there's another cave, and I can't see what that one up there is. There's a duplicate guy up there. Um, I'm afraid to use the power up on the Mantis God because if we um, split them or combine them, I don't know if it takes the higher the values or what. Um, and I don't see another duplicate besides Mantis God. So that's hard. Maybe it does just combine them. We could experiment. Hopefully we'll pass this because I, I need one of these strong cards. Trial of Blood must cost at least four blood. Um, must be kin and must have at least three sigils. So, somewhat low confidence on the Trial of Blood or medium confidence, and then the kin. Um, I don't think there's a lot of ways to win that. No, we got two, three bugs. And I'm not sure what the pack rat goes with. Maybe in the squirrels or something. I need to look up these tribes because I'm still not positive on it. And then the sigils, like, we're better than we were before. However, let's see, we have one, two, three, four. They're non sigil. So if we only got single sigils and we missed one, that would be over. I think I'm going to go with blood. Man, what bad luck. Not doing well in the caves today. Alright, power up time. Who wants to go? Could Frank try feeding them the ringworm? Um, I'm afraid we've done so many of the fires, though, it might be hard to get to another one so I guess let's do it anyways there we go okay fight time okay a rattler is gonna come in and take out that stump right away um, so we will go after it next turn and um, I'm going to leave the bullfrog there and I'm instead going to um, save up for something to take out the rattler. Probably the wolf. Yeah, that would be excellent because it'll take out the rattler and an adder as well. Okay. Take out two damage on me. 
and I'm going to need to retaliate. Um, pulling the bullfrog over may be a good idea. Or, let's see, we'll get three damage, and then they'll get two on me. So that doesn't help a whole lot. I'm just thinking I may have misplayed a little bit here. Um, let's get one of these cards. All right, a Warren. Okay. We might be able to turn this around yet. Maybe not. All right, the Warren played itself because it has that one silly thing on it. Um, now we could get rid of the Adder and um, the Warren is going to take care of the Rattler. So let's let's do that. Um, let's see. I'll be getting rid of the Rattler, and then the Rattler will come in, take out the Warren, and we'll need to take out the next Rattler. So let's get rid of the the Adder in that lane. We'll draw this card just in case it's something good. Mantis God. Okay, Mantis God could turn this around for us. Um, Let's put them right here in the middle. I think that could be the key to this. Okay, and let's go. Okay, and Mantis God should be able to help us take out those others, and we will put a bullfrog in front of the Gek to uh, start taking it on. A little bit of defense. Okay. And let's draw this one. Another Mantis God. So if we play it in the middle here, we'll be getting good coverage and replacing that Mantis God when the Adder comes over to kill it. Okay, I think that we've turned this around for the most part. I just need to take out that stoat on the, or that adder on the far side. And I think it will be looking pretty good. Okay, all he has is a bullfrog, which we can handle that. And just one more turn, we'll have that pack rat ready to go. Okay, let's see, let's see, I can't back out of it, unfortunately. Should have used one of my items, but oh well. Those are kind of, could have used a teeth puller, I guess. <laughs> Alright, you know you needed to. <laughs> Alright, duplicates. What do I have in duplicates? I do have the Mantis God, so going that route sounds like the best thing to do. I should have enough teeth pulled that we we'll get some uh, stuff here. Maybe that golden pelt. Nope, not enough. I guess we'll have to settle for a wolf. I'll go ahead and get a rabbit pelt too. So we don't, don't know how much longer we'll be able to do all this. Okay, duplicate time. happens if you give them rabbit pelts. All right, good. All right, the rattler and the bullfrog coming to town. Let's see here. Definitely don't want to put anything in front of the Rattler to begin with, so maybe we'll just hold what we have for the turn. Okay, and let's see. Well, that may have been a misplay because we're going to have a lot of power on the board all of a sudden. Um, I think I need to hook the Rattler 
to have a chance at this um, working out. However, let's see. I don't think there's any way we could draw something from there and it work out. Um, yeah, that may have been a bad draw slash misplay. Um, we could get a stoat on the board and something else, but I'm not feeling too good about it. Maybe pulling the rattler is our best idea. Just to have something. Okay. And the stoat can uh, do some damage against or take a hit from the uh, coyote. Okay. It's not ideal, but we'll go with it. Okay. And I'm going to need something to play, so let's get rid of the coyote who's going to do the most damage. And we'll at least be putting some uh, damage on the board. And we could prevent the adder, but I hate to lose a pelt over it. Ah, another rattler coming in. Now we have a bullfrog lane opened up too. Um, that's not looking good. So maybe we will have to sacrifice some stuff. A warren could save us a hit. However, that's just not enough. Um, we're going to get two damage this next turn. And really be in a little bit of trouble. Um, I can't think of a good way out of this situation. Let's just ring the bell. Okay, the Warren is helping us a little bit. Um, we're going to have to draw one of these. And we got a wolf. So, might have to sacrifice a pelt. Um... Let's see. Oh, we could lay down the rabbit and what else would happen? Take out the bullfrog and the rattler in one hit. Just worried about what's going to come after it, though. It's always the big worry. The Warren is going to take out that rattler and. Um, be taken out the next run. So, can we take two teeth? Because if we can, I think we can make something like this work. We're going to go like that, and we're going to ring the bell. Okay. And now the wolf will get a three hit in, and... The alpha is going to add power to the stump, unfortunately. Um, how ridiculous. But we're just going to have to take that. And we will break even, I think. So let's draw this just in case. Ah, good, a cockroach. Good, I was hoping for something with bone. Um, cockroach can hit the adder and shift over and absorb hit from the frog. Okay. We got a chance here. Okay. Cockroach is back on the board, so we can clear out the adder's lane. Um, next. Alright. Um, or we could play the Mantis God. And let's see. I think it will do that. We will sacrifice so we can get our Mantis God on the board. And we almost had enough to play it as well, but not quite enough. So this should, I think, bring everything back to where we need. I think we have two hit points left and we'll eliminate the stumps attack power. We'll get rid of the alpha and the bullfrog, or actually just the alpha. 
the adder and the bullfrog will die. I think this is right. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, I didn't put in account the darn rattler. Oh, man. I'm really kicking myself now. That was a blunder, blunder, blunder. Ah. <sighs> Shoot. Okay. Um. Hmm. Should we go here? Or. Let's see. We could go this route and sacrifice something, but I'm just not sure I have anything I want to sacrifice. Um. Hmm. Maybe it would be better to go the item route. Let's see, I still have two items, so maybe the item route would be better. Okay. Um, we do have the dog head sigil and the skunk that is stinky would be useful. We've already got the sigil that's helping us with that, but having another stinky card, it's only one cost, it's kind of nice. Um, maybe getting a river snapper and trying to power that up would be a good idea, though. And a wolf pelt. Um, this one is a dam builder. When a card brings to just played, a dam is created on each adjacent space. A dam is defined as zero power and two health. I don't see too many of those. And what is this? A so when a card brings sigil is immune to the effects of touch of death and stinky. Oh, that's cool. Um, so, and the moose buck is powerful if it has a turn. Oh, that's kind of scary. Um, and the Ant Queen is waterborne. Interesting. So, well, there's another river sniper that I could add and get it um, duplicate power. So maybe we'll go for that. I see a duplicate way over there to the right as well. So. Maybe we'll start heading over towards it. Or there's one over here at the end. Um, but I don't want to go to the wood carver, so I think I will go this way. Into a sigil fight. Alright. Good luck. Here we go. Alright, a bullfrog. It's going to be hitting on that stump. And a rattler. Um, I think the rattler is our top problem here. So we'll send out an elk fawn to uh, start our attack. just about won the match and dumb me put the elk fawn in the wrong lane um getting excited so that might be a humongous blunder um we could put the river snapper in front of the alpha to prevent a good amount of damage but i am afraid of um i am afraid of that rattler causing too much damage so and we don't have enough to use against it the goat counts as three blood so maybe we could play it and sacrifice for a grizzly to make a bit of a recovery here um so let's do that maybe that's our safest bet okay Okay, and we need to get rid of that alpha pretty quickly or else we're going to be in a world of hurt. Um, and I'm going to put four on the board, so let's just go ahead and go. Okay, good. That goat paid off immediately. 
Um, now I could get items or another card. I need the duplicate route, so let's go that way. Okay, um, we can have something from the deer class, something from um, insects, or I think this is some sort of beast, I forget what it is. Or the amphibian, maybe we'll do that one. Okay. All right, duplicate time. Okay. One and six. Let's see if it gets up to two and seven. Two and twelve. Heck yeah. I didn't realize it fully added. I thought it just went up by a point or something. Two and twelve. All right. What can we get here? thinking squirrel heads might not show at all here um, so we could have bug and I don't have anything but the cockroach so I think that might be a little not useful um, elk fawn and that's it so I think I'll go with the head but we'll stick with stinky dogs hey wizard max um, no need to apologize. I'm just glad um, you could join. And like I said, you know, just watch whenever you like. No uh, expectations. <laughs> okay, time for the angler. This is the fight that I've been not looking forward to. So, I wonder if I can add her the. Um, bait bucket and get rid of it that way that would be superb if so um, I may be able to play this guy pretty hard and take out stuff this way um, let me go ahead and pull a tooth and that'll be enough damage to get him to phase two I think okay good so that gets them off the board and now I can start thinking about how I'm going to get rid of that bait bucket and stuff too um, now it could be worth moving sacrificing the mantis god so that I can get a wolf on the board instead um, let's see having a hard time deciding if that's the right move or not so we know that the great white is going to take out the mantis god so maybe I will do that um, here we go okay there we go and we can do another draw and I will let that great white come in and hit me but I think that the wolf might win this round for us right here okay I think this may be the first time I've defeated all three of the bosses um, so I don't know if we have another map to run through or what comes next but let's see what's in the box Douse, Strange Larva, um, Long Elk, and yeah, I think we'll go Strange Larva, because if we can get that fully powered up, we will be somewhat overpowered. Okay, this is my first time getting this far, so um, what can we do? We can do Wood Carver, I feel least interested in that. I don't think we have pelts to trade. Um, and item wise, let's see what items I have. I think I have just the fan right now. So I could trade a power up. Um, is there anybody that, that makes sense to do with? Perhaps putting the pack rats ability on the strange larva or somebody else 
to make it more likely to get an item would be a good idea. I don't know. Maybe I'll just get items. I think that that could be the wisest decision. All right, we could get bones, an airborne, or a tooth pull. Um, I guess I'm gonna go with bones and a squirrel. All right, first time trying this on Casey's mod, so taking a deep breath. Oh yeah, I definitely will be confused, I think. <laughs> oh, and I forgot there's a third uh, candle too for it. Okay. So the Malcolm is going to come down. I think that slapping a smoke in front of it is an excellent idea. And if I could get Mantis God on the board right away, um, it's going to help take out the amalgam so I think it it's really the obvious choice here and um, that'll be it oh he's gonna hit my mantis god probably I see he's got his pickaxe out so that's not good um, I do have enough to play a coyote though and I think I'll get the squirrel out and uh, need to play something to take out the mantis. Um, so I think first off we'll do that and second we will put down the bullfrog and that will be that. Okay, good. should start drawing cards and um, we'll just let it go. Mantis God will take out the amalgam too. Okay. Ah, uh, that is so lame. But we knew it was going to happen at some point. Alright, the Rabbit Warren. Um, that'll at least get some attack power on the board, so I think I'm going to go ahead and let it go. Go ahead, Angler. Do your worst. All right, you can have my rabbit. Um, we'll draw this strange larva. Okay, um, you can have my rabbit. That is totally cool with me. And now we got to figure out a way to take out David. We can put the strange larva on the board, and. That will buy us some time pretty quickly. Um, if I put a squirrel down, that'll block further damage, so I think that I'll go ahead and do that while our strange larva is getting leveled up. It's really the only way we have a chance, I think. Okay, um, let's do card here. Ah, pack rat. I'm just going to have to take a hit, probably. Alright, got to trade. Oops, I did not mean to click that. Whatever that was. Mothman's going to wipe out that lane, and meanwhile, we need to protect against David and this other guy. Um, having a stump is a help, but not quite enough, so... Let's just try this one. We got a stoat. So, um, I'd say we need to block David more than anything. And we can do this. Okay. Perfect. As long as he doesn't take out my Mothman, I think I'll have a look. Kind of forget what the moon part is like, though. Ah, that's gonna be tough. So, 
because it has an Omni Strike too, and it's going to do one across the board. And I need to figure out how to get some power going quickly, or else I'm going to have a lot of trouble. So I guess we'll just let it run. Okay. And we are going to just have to keep drawing cards. Um, Elk Fawn can survive and get up to the next power level, I think. Um, so hopefully it'll survive. It's getting exciting. Okay, good. So now it's going to do 9 damage, and I can play um, Stoke just to prevent damage against me here. And we will go with that. Okay. Um, another squirrel, and we have a pack rat. So we may as well sacrifice um, and get the um stuff we need here so i think the elk is going to win the day for us here in just a moment um i don't think i need to do anything else there we go okay bam all right well i think that that's the first time i've beat a casey's mod run Oh man, that was insanely difficult. Um, about an hour and six minutes in playtime here, so that uh, that was awesome. Dev entry one. Okay, I need to write this down now so I don't go to sleep and tell myself I dreamt it. I'm working late and testing the latest build, and out of nowhere, the angler starts freaking out like he pulled something up out of the river with his hook. Then he gets up and walks. There's no walk animation for this character, WTF. He walked right into the cabin. I followed him in and couldn't find him. Leshy and had some new dialogue lines that I cannot find in the dialogue file. He said something about some old data and how the angler served him well or something. So tired that I'm already wondering if I made this up. Alright, unlock some cards. The wild bull. At the end of the owner's turn, wild bull will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Creatures in the way will be thrown back behind it. And the cuckoo. Airborne. Also, when cuckoo is played, an egg is created on the opposing space. Alright, challenge unlock. Boss totems. Boss battles are also totem battles, plus 15 challenge points. Well, cool. Um... Let's see about our unlocks and our cards. I'm curious how we... I wonder if they just show up. I guess during play, they'll uh, show up. So we still have the starter, the same starter deck, so we haven't unlocked anything new there. And um, let's see about challenges. So we've already done that. It looks like it tracks each of them, so if I do a new run, I would assume that it's going to show... Um, Oh, it doesn't show an X on it or anything. Um, so challenge points needed to advance to the next level are 15. So we could do that, or we could do like all three of these at once or something. Um, that'd be really hard with a small backpack, felt more expensive, no hook. Okay, well, I think that I'm going to stop here while I still have a victory to my name for today and I'd say thanks for watching. This has been S Tier Rank. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at S Tier Rank. I'll have a replay of today's stream soon on YouTube. Thank you and have a good one.